Hi, Mark, the Techno Bear Geek. Today we're having a look at this, the Organel M from Critter and Guitari. I'm going to, in this video, show you what it's about, uh, talk about who it's for, and also answer some popular questions like, is it like an OP1? Um, so let's have a quick look at it now. So the organelle is a complete instrument. It's got controls, it's got a keyboard, it's got audio in and out, it's got MIDI in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, the new version is completely powered by batteries and a speaker, or you can power it via DC as well. Um, everything to do on the go. It's a synthesizer, it's a sampler, uh, it's a sequencer, you name it, it can do it. The strength of the organelle really is twofold. First of all, it's actually quite a creative instrument. Um, Crit and Guitari are a boutique company based in the US, um, and they've got a bit of style and a bit of an attitude. Of, it is a really shows in the organelle. Um, the patches, yep, yeah, we have vanilla synthesizers, etc. but also we have some quirky stuff there, some more experimental stuff. The power of the organelle, though, is that not only have Critter and Guitari kept on releasing patches for it, but the community also. So it's become quite a much more powerful machine. So in 2016, they released the original one. This is the Organelle 1. Um, and yeah, if you bought this three years ago, you've still been getting value added, even this year. I mean, I only released ORAC 2, what, a couple of months ago. So Development is still very active and it has a very active community. So who is the Organelle M for? Well, that's a good question. When the Organelle came out, there weren't so many patches. There wasn't so much of a community behind it. So I thought really it was for hackers and experimental music people. But today, the Organelle has loads of patches available produced both by Critter and Guitari and also by the community. Things that are just, there's just so many different things from normal kind of FM synthesizers, uh, samplers, etc., to more quirky stuff, to more experimental stuff. So today, even as a musician, you can just pick it up and play it. However, it still retains the fact that actually it is open source. Um, you can quite easily create your own patches in uh, pure data. So it can still be extended by you if that's what you want to do. But you just don't have to do it these days. So now let's have a little look at what the differences are between the Organelle M and the original Organelle 1 here. So the first thing is what we can't see. Inside this has a quad-core processor, um, which is four times as much processing power as the Organelle 1. It has double the memory. That means that I can update ORAC to have more complex patches and more sampling. Looking forward to doing that. The other thing is this runs on Raspbian, which means it's a much more modern OS than the features on the Organelle 1. That is really felt when you start using other hardware. It's much more compatible. Uh, for example, I have a, a small HDMI monitor that I just can't get working on the Organelle 1, but it works out the box on the Organelle M. Then we can come to the exterior. Obviously, the key thing is it's a little bit bigger because it's got a speaker on it. The speaker is loud, 
and clear, which is fantastic. I live out in the open. All these tiny little speakers, they just sound dreadful outside. This sounds great. It's got an internal microphone. Both of those you can actually turn on and off with little switches on the back. Um, if you're using the internal microphone, obviously you have to be careful with feedback. I'll show you something, having a little bit of fun with feedback. So the great thing about having a speaker and the microphones close together is you if you're into feedback and wanting to play with feedback, it's just great fun. Um, obviously, usually what you would do if you want to use the mic, the built in microphone, uh, just put in some headphones um, and obviously you won't and then turn off the main speaker. Um, but it's fun. And that sums up the kind of like the organelle, really. It's just fun to play with. Let's have a little look at the Organelle and the Organelle M side by side. So we can see the Organelle M is a little bit taller, it's a little bit bigger. Really, it's only bigger by the speaker. Um, obviously, it's a little bit taller because of the batteries, etc., as well. Um, if we look at the back side of the Organelle M, we can actually see. Uh, some of the other changes. So we have a power switch now. I love power switches, very useful. As well as the AA batteries compartment here, four AAs. We've obviously still got DC power, uh, HDMI output, so that you can create patches on the Organelle M directly. Uh, SD card, now everything's actually tends to be running off the SD card. It still supports running patches off the USB stick. But generally, we prefer to actually transfer via Wi-Fi. Um, uh, we have MIDI in and out using MIDI DRS cables. It's very useful if you want to have DIN output. Again, USB, you can use uh, that as well. Pedal as before, we have here a switch between the input of the internal mi microphone and the external microphone input, the switch to turn off the speaker and on, and line output and headphones. Uh, all three of these can be run at the same time if you wish, that's not a problem. Without the batteries, it's it's a little bit heavier. It feels like it's a little bit heavier because of the speaker, uh, but not really much in it to be honest. Should you upgrade an Organelle 1? Well, the Organelle 1 is not going anywhere. Uh, the great thing is Crit and Kratari have made um, it so that the Organelle M is 100% compatible. Um, the OS for the Organelle 1 um, will be updated so that it's got the same things, obviously bar the hardware, which means that it can be kept up to date. Um, so that's not going anywhere, and I'm certainly not going to get rid of my Organelle. Um, I'm going to use it in Dishwood because what's better than one organelle? Two organelles. <laughs> but why upgrade? Well, because there's a couple of things. First of all, um, it's got much more power. Um, it's got much more memory. So if you're doing sampling, etc., you can keep a lot more samples in memory. Um, patches are going to be improved. Aurac runs smoother already on the organelle M than it does on the organelle 1. Um, but also, I'm going to update Aurac so that it can actually take advantage of the multi-core. Uh, so that's the first reason. Uh, second thing is, if you want something that's portable, um, obviously, yeah, this is completely self-contained. This goes very easily into your backpack. Um, I love just wandering around playing with it. Um, the Organo One, is, so it can do it, but it's a whole lot of other stuff to take with you. 
So some people have asked me, does it compare to an OP1? And that's quite an interesting question. So the OP1 is really designed to be a one-stop kind of workstation. If you wish, a portable Yamaha workstation. Yeah, you can make complete tracks on it. Um, it's got its own workflows, built-in synths, samplers, etc. Off you go. The Organelle and Organelle M, though, are slightly different. You can build entire tracks on it. I mean, ORAC allows you to have multiple tracks that you can sequence, etc., as I showed earlier. However, the Organelle is more like a portable Nord modular. Um, its greatest strength is that it can be many different things, both outside and in the studio. So whilst you could create a track, you can also create your own fantastic little patches or download loads of other patches. Um, it's always growing. The Organelle 1 has been out now for three years, but what it can do today is much more than what it used to be able to do three years ago, just because Critter and Critari have improved the OS, they've improved the, their patches, the community has created lots of patches. I, I mean, I've done things like launch ORAC, but I've also put OTC, a video synthesizer, on it. That you can't do with an OP1. An OP1 is what it is. If that's what you need, it's great. If you want something else to be added to it, you're out of luck. That's, that's why for me, I, I just, I just love the organelle.